something about good food that just brings a community together. And at Zeeland Street, customers leave with more than just a full belly. They leave feeling beloved. We introduce you to a woman behind it all in this week's profile in Black History. So this is fresh hash browns. A lot of people like to claim love is the secret ingredient in their recipes. You can feel comfortable coming here knowing that this could have been your aunt's place or your grandmother's place, something like that. I don't need an extra one. But there's no secret about it at Zeeland Street. From the family photos on the wall. I am honoring her existence. I am honoring the time that she took me up under her wing for five years, and I was like a little sous chef. Okay. To the way customers feel after they leave with a full stomach. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. I'm going to spread my egg. Miss Stephanie Ferries learned how to cook from her grandmother, another cook, who taught her to do things the proper way. She's going to make sweet potato souffle. Start from scratch. That might be some mustard greens. And use real, fresh ingredients. And this is for us to make hash browns out of. That's something Stephanie says she did a lot in life, too. She had the love of God and the love of community and people. She was big in uh, our neighborhood. She was um, one of the top people in civil rights. She didn't stop. She took her um, vehicle and took the kids to school. Her windows were smashed, eggs were thrown on her, um, but she waded through it and she did it for us. So with so much love poured into a place where everyone knows your name and your order. Miss Stephanie and, uh, would know that I'd come over every single day for a biscuit and uh, a biscuit sandwich. It's hard to imagine a time where Stephanie Ferris was an outsider. I was just a young girl that came to this town and I needed friends and I needed family. So I had to involve myself in the community. And I think it worked. And yet, when she and her husband first moved into the neighborhood more than 30 years ago. I was the first black, I believe, and I would get approached by the police. They told me I was case in the neighborhood. And so I basically said, hey, I live over here. I folded. So Miss Stephanie folded. went back to another old lesson. That good, real food brings everyone together. So I would go from house to house, knock on your door, and say, hello, my name is Stephanie, and I live on Zealand. After that, I started a potluck supper for the last Friday of the month, and I would invite people. One day, we had like 100 people in the yard and outside throughout the house. And he said to me, you need to own a restaurant. And that's how this evolved. Zealand Street is now a Baton Rouge staple as much for those old family recipes as the owner herself. Oh, she's a lovely person, truly wonderful person. Yeah, I really enjoy her presence. And now she's hoping to pass on the proper way of doing things to the next generation, sharing both her recipes and her love of community. I am trying to preserve a way of living that is wonderful for Baton Rouge, for Louisiana. I want people to know that we're here, that you could come here and have a good time, eat a good meal, and feel good after you walk out of here. David, I felt good after talking to Miss Stephanie. She's just one of those people that fill your cup, make you feel loved. So regulars know that she briefly offered a dinner service called Beloved last fall. She tells me they had to put a pause on the project for just a little while, but her dinner menu of what she calls elevated soul food will be returning again in the spring. So keep an eye out for that. Yeah, I remember when you got back from that uh, very nice uh, woman and you're right. It just kind of fills you up, makes you feel good about yourself. Thank you, Miss Stephanie, and good luck out there with all of that good stuff.